Good afternoon, Andoni. Good afternoon. Uh, we'll start with some team news um, today. Obviously, I know there's been a lot of players out injured. There's players that are getting close to coming back. Can you just give us an update on, on where you're at and the faces that will potentially be involved in your squad and those that may miss out? Yes, I think uh, everyone that was involved past week will is ready to play and I don't think we, we recover anyone. I think the only one that is not so far is Styler. He will not be for Brighton's game, but he has started this week at least to train partly, partially with the with the group. So uh, probably we we can have of uh, we can have a chance of having him next week, two weeks, something like this. I know Bournemouth haven't won in the Premier League so far this season. But you've had three really positive draws, the most recent against a, a difficult Chelsea side. You spoke after the game about the team getting stronger. Do you feel like you're starting to see your identity and what you want from this group on a match day? Yeah, the other day I finished quite happy because also the, the game went uh, better as it passed. You know, we finished better than we started the game. I think we felt like the last 23 minutes of the game we were closer to winning it than losing it probably we it's not that we started poorly but they were more in control of the game at the beginning of the game so the sensations that we 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 ended the game against Chelsea I think were, were really nice against a really good opposition but every game is different now we have Brighton different game and uh, we have to, to face it uh, even better Obviously, Brighton played last night in Europe for the first time in the club's history. A lot of people say that's a very difficult experience, playing European football Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then playing in the Premier League. How are you expecting them to reply off the back of their disappointment? Uh, at the end, they've made a lot of subs. They've changed a lot, the team, between the Old Trafford game and the other night game. For sure, they are going to change it for our game. Uh, and. Uh, I don't think it will be so. The, the physical side will be so important because uh, they they have very good squad. They've done the changes. They've performed well. You never know what you prefer when they play before before your game. If they is better they win, is better they lose. At the end, the game plan will not change. We know what they are going to try to do. We know what we are going to try to do also. So I don't think it's something important. Did you watch the game? Yes, of were course. You, yeah. Were you making notes? Were you yes. with your family? Were you, how, how did you...? Now I watch it on, on, on TV. I think uh, they were in control of the game. They had the possession. It's true that they considered two on set pieces. At the end, this small details that, that uh, get you out of the, of the wins. But they are playing very, very well. I think uh, they are deserving their wins. They are the, the team that has scored more goals in the Premier League. I think, uh, except West Ham game, yes, I think they've scored three or more every single game. So we have to be ready to to defend well and also to make them think defensively. Dom Solanke's just been sat in that very chair and he, he said that Bournemouth can be like Brighton. That's the model to get into Europe, to play exciting football, to push up the Premier League. Do you agree? I think they have done a very uh, difficult thing. They have been improving every single year from the last seasons. At the end, they they achieved to, to play in Europe uh, past season with an amazing season. They are uh, a team that is playing with a clear identity. I think every uh, praise they are receiving, uh, they really deserve it because they are they are playing really well and with a clear identity but there is a lot of way to go and a lot of things to to do there is a lot of very good uh, games to play but we we, we are no, no, still not there Dom Solanke also said that he, he thinks this can be his best ever Premier League season both in terms of performance off the ball but also getting goals are you seeing in him now that he has that ability, you, you can work with the player, you can you can progress and develop him and he can become a, a real asset for this club. 
Yes, I think it's pretty clear since day one. Uh, for me, he's a very, very good number nine. He gives us a lot of things apart from the goals, and he's having the chances. He's scored two, but he has the other day he did, had a very, very good chance, very good save from Robert Sanchez. But every, I think every game he has had a, a clear chance or a, or a couple. It's a very good thing. I, I always tell them I want the number nine that miss goals. This is a good sign. And at the end, he will score because he has the the qualities, and also he knows that he has he has to ha help the team because he has to make the ones playing behind him better also, and he is focused on that. And just finally, obviously we we know this will be a challenge. We know this will be one of your your toughest games of the season because Brighton are exceptional. But in a South Coast derby. What could a win do to really catapult your season and, and kickstart your season and make a statement about the ability you have against the, the best teams in the division? Uh, I think we know the, the, the game we are going to play. I think that they will try to control the possession, control the game, play in our, in our half. We uh, need to have very good individual performances, win duels the other day. Once we started winning duels in the middle, the team became much more dangerous going forward. And we also have very good weapons, attacking weapons, and we have to attack their backs and make them run also backwards and become the game in two directions. Uh, we, we respect them, obviously. They've, they, are, they are playing really well. They are scoring a lot of goals, but we also trust ourselves and we think if we give our level we can we, we can be competitive and we can take points from there thank you dom described brighton as one of the best teams in the world right now is that too big a praise or are you equally as impressed uh, i think they are playing really really well really well and uh, i think they deserve all this this praise and i think it's something that uh, they earned you know, because at the end, is the team scoring more goals this season? It's just five games, but it's not like just a surprise. No, past season they did really well. Now uh, they are they are playing in Europe. For sure, it will be a challenge for them. But no, I think they they deserve all this praise. Were you surprised to see them susceptible at set pieces? And is that something you can embrace? Uh, uh, we, we need to improve offensively in set pieces. I think defensively we are doing really well because we, I think we conceded the free kick. It was a direct free kick at Brentford, but we haven't conceded corners and lateral free kicks. So we are we are improving there. But I think offensively is something that we need to to to, to improve. Uh, and it's, it's a way that they've conceded. For sure they will they will be aware and they will try also to. To, to improve, but uh, we have to take every single chance we have via set piece, via counters, via established organized attacks, and uh, let's see if we, we are able. Roberto De Zerbi has just said because they're not used to playing Thursday, Sunday football, he will make a lot of changes. Does that affect your approach at all, or do you know they will play the same way, whoever's in the team? No, the, the style will be the same. They've just showed it past week. He made a lot of changes in Old Trafford. They played amazingly. They won. Uh, you never won really easily, but they were in control of the game and and they deserve to to win the game like they did. So it's not going to change a lot if one fullback plays or the other plays. I think they will try to do what they always do, and we we we, we know what we are facing. Uh, Milos and Max against Chelsea did so very well against Madrid, Sterling and, uh, and, and others. How big a challenge will it be for them against March and Matoma? Is it another step up? I think this is the Premier League. No, it's not easy to be a fullback in the Premier League because you come from, I don't know, from Embuemo and then you face uh, Mudrik or Sterling or, and then you go there and you play Solimar or Mitoma and next week you will play uh, Gai Osaka or, I don't know, Trossard, whoever plays. For Arsenal it's like this, to be in a Premier League fullback. You face the best wingers. I think they did really well the other day. I think it's not a matter of their job individually, we have to help them. Obviously, we know that they have very, 
very dangerous wingers. I don't know who, which one will start, but I think uh, they attack very well the depth with them. They are good one against one, so it's not like they do just one thing and we have to cover this. It's much much more difficult than this, but it's good that the other day we we had our first clean sheet. I think it's something that we talk about in the international break and let's hope, knowing that they are scoring a lot of goals, but let's hope that we, we continue in that way defensively. It sounds like you're happy you're no longer a fullback. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's it's always the same. Also in my time in La Liga, you are okay. Now we have this this winger. Next week you have this other. So it's always tough. But it's uh, you have to know that uh, you have to defend these guys. But I think that also we have to try to make them run backwards and to keep them as far as we ha we can from from our goal. So it's also two ways for them because otherwise if yeah, they are only focused on the attacking side it's, it's too easy for them um, you have lots of wingers as well I wonder just Marcus Tavernier he was so important to the team last year what have you made of him now that he's back from injury the, the impact you've seen so far yes I think he has to be a, an important player for us uh, I, the other day he was, it was his first start Probably he finished really tired. He wasn't so sharp on the ball, especially because he had to do an, uh, a, a, a really tough defensive work. But he's physically also he's he's a good player. He he makes good numbers, and uh, I hope he can uh, continue improving his his level. They know that they have a really tough uh, competition between them. They have to take every minute they have. Uh, it's difficult that we see a winger play 90 minutes. It's going to be tough because we, we will have options seated on the bench that we think they are normally good and uh, they have to get used to play whatever the minutes they have. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Afternoon, Andoni. Just Afternoon. going back on the injury front, you've given us an update on Tyler there. I'm just wondering if there's an update on um, Alex Scott and maybe any others. Yes, uh, I, I told you, I think past weeks, Alex is uh, far behind Tyler. Tyler is really close because once you start training partially with the group, it's a matter of sensations. And if if you are physically good enough and he has the, the, the a very good physical base so i think it will take no no long time to, to see tyler with the team uh, alex is uh, completely different uh, i know that this week has been the first week he has been outside just doing the physical work but okay it's a first step in the right directions but is uh, is uh, is far from 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 tyler